Google has a bunch of little projects that they work on in the background and don't really announce to the public. Uh, the Google sharing stuff is no exception to that rule. This network seems to be a, a way to share links that you find across the web. So for example, let's say I saw a good article here at Chris Brogan. Pepsi reaches out to digital people in analog. I'll go up here and click the email share button which I added from the uh, Google shared stuff and you'll see a, a window pops up here and you can see that there's options here under the more tab and this is the area right here that we're paying attention to we can see that Google has listed specific social networks and uh, why they have listed those in particular as opposed to not other ones or give you the option to uh, share with the other ones uh, we don't know but we can only speculate and we do know that Google is paying attention to social buzz they have to in order to compete and we see evidence of that of course with the coming of Google and we have seen evidence that when something gets dug for instance uh, a good number of times that it tends to influence the rankings in the search engines and this only makes sense because the search engine's job is to make sure that relevant content comes up based on human wants and desires. So from a human perspective, it makes sense for Google to be paying attention to the social buzz surrounding content that is submitted to uh, specific networks. Now we know Google is uh, looking at these networks. The depths that they go into we don't know yet, but we're going to continue to study in, in this direction. The point is is that the search engines do have the ability to pay attention to social buzz and we know that Google is paying more attention to it than others and as time rolls forward here in the near future it's going to be very important to understand what's happening behind the scenes here